Okay, so the word broke yesterday that Peter Mayhew had passed away. And I have to admit, this one stung a little bit, you know? Um, like many people who are diehard Star Wars fans, Peter Mayhew has just been a staple, especially at the conventions. I mean, there's probably hundreds of thousands of people that have met him and had his signature, you know, sign a, a picture. And, you know, he's always been such a humble guy. I met him uh, several times at Star Wars Celebration and uh, at um, uh, Dragon Con. The first time was in 2000, I believe it was 2003. And... I was there promoting at Dragon Con um, with some other friends uh, this Star Wars fan film that we had shot and we were premiering the trailer at I think it was Planet Hollywood in Atlanta and which I don't think is there anymore and we a lot of the people were there uh, um, Richard Lapamentier was there as well and he has passed away he was the one that um Darth Vader had choked out at the Death in the Death Star, you know. Don't try to frighten us with your sorceress ways, Lord Vader. <laughs> you know, that guy. And he passed away not too long ago. Um, and Peter was just, you know, he, he always wore, and he still did off and on over the years, these top hats that were like custom made and fans fans painted them and then gave them to him and things like that. And uh, But you, you don't, you never got... Uh, he, you never got the sense that he was anything but just a humble, nice, loving guy. I mean, he really embodied what was Chewbacca as a human being. And I know that sounds weird, but at the same time, there's a lot of truth to that. And there's a lot of Star Wars fans out there that will tell you that as well. And so uh, we're at Planet Hollywood and he's there and um, there's lots of people taking photos. And there's this one picture, and we're, we're going to post it up here um or we're just going to put it on the screen and um it, it was a picture of us and it, you could tell by the smiles on my face and my friend rick poor who's a special effect makeup artist in the film industry worked on huge projects and he, we're both smiling like crazy and you know he puts his arms around us and and i'm five foot nine and peter is seven foot five and his hand, when he reached around and laid it on my shoulder, um, and, you know, with a broken wrist, it, it's the size of, like, my chest. It was insane. Um, he was just so big. And, um, you know, it's funny. When, when I first saw him walking towards me, he had, obviously, it was the Chewbacca walk. You can see he, he you know, that was his walk. It wasn't like he created the walk of Chewbacca, it was, he was so large and it was such a labor to shuffle and to move that he has his own little thing, which is why like Junus had to um, recreate that um, and follow him and mim mimic him to, in order to take on the role after The Force Awakens. So it's very interesting. Um, there was another time where I went to one of the cons and I, I was dating somebody at the time and they went with me. And um, I remember she was so tickled to see uh, Peter Mayhew when she walked up to him. She said his wife, Angie, was there next to him. And she said, "I my whole dream, my whole life was to be able to kiss a Wookiee. And uh, Peter like looks over at his wife and she was like, have at it. <laughs> and, and she kissed him and, you know, you know, that was just one of the, again, it's like, like when it came to the fans, Peter was like such an amazing guy and went out of his way for everyone. And, um, you know, he, he, he always had, you know, he, for a while, you know, he was walking with a cane that somebody had manufactured one to look like a lightsaber and things like that because, you know, his hips, his knees, I mean, to be seven foot five and to be his size, like a, a giant, um, you know, that had to have been such a hard thing to live with uh, as he got older. Um, and, you know, it's just really, we've really lost somebody that, just like Junus, uh, is so optimistic and so happy and so proud to be a part of 
the fandom, the community. And um, it's really a sad day. I mean, you know, you know, Carrie Fisher, Kenny Baker, I mean, everyone's aging out. And that's, this is what happens in life. We just, we grow old, we pass away, and hopefully we leave something behind, good memories, things like that. And um, Peter was a fantastic human being. And uh, I just, I just hope he's resting well. And, um, you know, he, he truly, he truly will be missed by millions of people. Um, but what he's given us for us to carry on for as long as we're on this planet is great memories and a great character that that he embodied completely and 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 made something that we'll never forget. So we love you, big guy. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.